Hey everybody, it's Bobby from Goal Line, and today I just want to take a couple minutes and come in here on this uh, and just do a film study kind of. I just want to do a little quick film study with you guys. I always talk about Nikhil Harry, and I just wanted to take time and kind of show you some visual stuff to kind of explain what it is I'm seeing. So, obviously one of the big things I've said about Nikhil is that Nikhil is a red zone threat. He's a big body receiver. He can make plays. His route running isn't great. And his uh, There's a lot about him that isn't great, but there's a lot that's good. So, I'm going to, I have two videos lined up. I'm just going to try to make this pretty quick. I have two. It's, um, shout out to Boston Sport, this channel right here. You know, to subscribe. Um, they upload every catch from Nikhil. He has this one as well, him against, um, Seattle. But we're going to watch these two videos and we're going to kind of watch and we're going to take each play. We're going to break down what we're seeing, whether it's good or bad from Nikhil. So here's the first play. It's a third and five situation. This is the second. Obviously, look at the score, 17 nothing. This is a pretty big drive for the Patriots. Third and five, they're looking. They need a first down, obviously, in field goal, but they're looking for a touchdown, right? They want a touchdown. Cam, if you see on the bottom, here's five for eight, 66 with an interception, right? We all know how this game went, but let's watch. You know, Line it up. You can see Nikhil down here. Great oh, hold up. up there in years. Great player, but here he comes across. There's Jacoby. There he goes. Okay, great catch by Nikhil, great catch, but let's, this pass should not, this should have been a bigger play, and now a lot of people might want to blame Nikhil, blah, 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 he can't run after the catch, not true, on this, in, this instance, it's not his yak, watch, so as you can see, Cam Newton right here is pointing, looking this way, it appears from his eyes and the way his body is pushed, he's getting the defense right here, these guys, to look this way, to look down. Or down like to the bottom of the screen, right? He wants to look him off this way. But what Cam fails to do when he turns his body this way to a Jacoby or Bird, who I believe was running under here, when he looks off, which is great, which is what, this is Brady-esque. Brady does this stuff. This is one of the things Brady's always done is he looks off defenders and moves them with his body language. He guns it while his foot is facing this way and throws it all upper body, which is not going to be accurate. Fundamentally, it isn't, which now leads to a throw, as the ball is right here, going way too high. This ball should be coming underneath to Nikhil in motion. If he turns his body, takes that extra step, hits him in motion, this is a bigger gain. Instead, it's a hit, it's a high, he gets hit, taken down, instead of coming underneath and making a bigger play. So in this instance, is a great catch by by Nikhil. A great catch by on a god-awful throw. That shouldn't have been high. It should have been underneath to allow him to get around Fuller here. Shouldn't have let him. It was a great grab by Nikhil, but shouldn't have been that difficult. All right, here we go. Now we got second and 20. I believe, is this him down here below, right? Yeah, it's him on bottom. We have, I believe that's Dalton Keene. Bird and Myers with, I believe that's James White in the back. Okay. All right. Cam immediately turns his body facing. His feet aren't really facing. Keel, he turns it. He turns his body. We have James White who checked out. Dalton Keene coming around. Steps up and guns it. Great catch right here. This is not really much to complain about. Just a great catch. Um, would I have just said throwing that ball? Probably not. But on second and 20, you need big gains to open it up. This is, a huge, again, a huge drive. You really want to put on points, right? You want to come down and score. Get this game down to 17-10. Cam wants to prove he can throw. Great throw. Great catch. Not much to complain about here. Great catch. Good catch. This was an awesome, yeah. Guys, drop back. Look at him. That double move was awesome. Great move. Now... What it looks like from here on this angle, now I'm not sure, yeah, there's a guy coming underneath. Even with that guy coming, it looks like Nikhil had the separation to make this, again, a bigger play. He looked right here. He has the separation. You can see if see how he slows up immediately because the ball's already been thrown. If Cam put that farther, allowed him to go get it, he could have made the contested catch. But instead of with it being this guy right here, it probably would have been against the second guy. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but he put it high up. If he put it deeper, Nikhil wouldn't have had to come back. He could have had the space to, again, make a bigger, 
easier catch. It wouldn't have looked so difficult. See, that was, and again, he made a great catch. A phenomenal catch. This is what Nikhil Harry does. This is what he can do. One-on-one, -on -one, you can't really guard him. All right, now we have him out on the right. Comes under. Yeah, good catch, good throw. Quick route. This is from Stidham. That's it. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have every pass attempt towards um, Nikhil on this one because Nikhil had a lot of really, really good routes. He had one near, I believe it was the end of the half, where he got wide open. So in that, what we just saw from all these catches, right, and I don't have all of his routes. I can't find his routes. If somebody can link in the description on all of it, I would love to see just full tape of the game. Um... Nikhil had a lot of good routes that game. He was really getting open. Cam missed him a lot. Cam looked god-awful. Now here we go to one of my favorite games from uh, Nikhil this season uh, against Seattle. Let's run it through. Nope. Here we go. So here we are, fourth and three, going forward to open the first quarter. I think we all know this play. We've all seen this play, but let's run it through. Here we go. They love doing this, right? Tight end, single back back to check for blitz. You know, Bird and Jacoby on the outside with Nikhil 101 down below. Here we go. It's a play action with Bird. Izzo picks up. It's Edelman, actually. Excuse me. It's Edelman and Bird. Edelman coming. I forgot he was on the team. <laughs> Here we have Nikhil coming through on the seam. Let's see. As you can see. Cam guns it right in there and sets up Bert, uh, Harry to get absolutely fucking smoked. He got rocked. Great throw, an amazing catch, and I love this about Harry, right up talking trash to Jamal Adams, the most overrated safety in the league. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. But, yeah, Harry took a hell of a hit on this one right here. This is a lot of... I don't really want... But let's watch right here. Oh, this is a good angle of his route running. That just not be more dangerous. Here we go. You can see with the eyes he cooked... There you go. Beautiful route. Beautiful route. Beautiful, beautiful route. Who cares about what he's talking about getting hit? But look with the eyes and the keel. His route running has been great all year. But right here, he's staring right into the soul of this defender. <laughs> <laughs> staring into the soul of Griffin. <laughs> and then right there cuts it. Obviously not the pretty, not the most perfect route, but it's pretty good. You know, not as crisp as you would like, but a good route nonetheless. Comes underneath catch, made, great catch, and gets rocked, takes it. Now, you're going to see more of this game, of this game in particular, a lot of bad from Nikhil, but so far we've seen a lot of good from Nikhil. What we've seen is a lot of Nikhil Harry having to make plays on bad balls. That was a good throw, but it was led to a big hit again. This is something Cam does to Nikhil quite often. We've seen it a couple more other times where he just puts him in positions to instantly get rocked, which affects Nikhil. Nikhil's health has already been in question, so this doesn't help, you know? But great catch. Yada, yada, yada. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Here we go. Next play. All right, moving on. But, yes, good contested catch. Here we are again. Um, there's Izzo on the bottom. He's right here. There's Nikhil. Let's see. First and ten. Third quarter. Down. Just screen. You can see right up here. The play. You have these two blocking for Nikhil. Here's one of my big issues with Nikhil. Okay, not on this play, excuse me, but not on this play. Right there, two guys get down, didn't do much. Standard play, really not much to go there. He doesn't really have breakaway speed. Here we go again, another little flip, right, little flats. This, to me, is a big problem of mine with Nikhil. This is a big, something I personally, you can have your opinion, I don't like. Nikhil Harry shouldn't have gone down from this, in my opinion. Obviously, it was a great tackle by this guy. I'm not sure who that is. If who that is, who, I, it, that's a twenty. Was that twenty six? 
Good play, but I think at his size, he should be able to have gotten over that. I don't. I just don't like that he went down that quick, and I think a lot of people feel the same way. He doesn't have breakaway speed, and he's a big guy, so he shouldn't be going down to one person. It really shouldn't take one person to take him down. You know, it's a good angle by the DB. A good play. Is that 28, I think? 28, 26. Great play by him, but Nikhil should continue going. He should have gone for more yards, at least, in my opinion. Here's another screen of him, similar to what we saw before. Burke coming across, Izzo coming. We have these two setting screens. Right here, he goes, splits them, and good hit, good play. Nothing really to complain there. He did his job. Not much opening, but he got there. He didn't exactly have the best, you know, people lead blocking for him in Jacoby and Bird. All right, another play, and another just out to the screen. Again, should not have gone down. This is another one of those issues I have with him. There is no reason why on this play right here, look at this. I mean, look at the giant gap he has. I mean, like, come on. How are you going to tell me that on this play, this is going to be the guy that tackles you? That make, It's just absurd to me that he allows that guy who's getting blocked to tackle him. It just it doesn't make any sense to me that he allows that to happen. I just it, That pisses me off. That's a bad play in my opinion on Nikhil. Like, that guy shouldn't be taking him down. You can't be tinkle toes. You can't go down at one foot. That's what, what, again, a lot of people have to complain about Nikhil is you're a big guy. You shouldn't allow some guy to just touch your toe and you go down. Yeah. Great play by Cam. Good way, you know, get the ball out immediately. Here we go again. This is the final drive. Boom. Bad throw, but Nikhil made a great catch. You know, wobbly ball, but I mean, it's not like a bad throw, really. But you know, it was a good catch, good catch. You know, good route got open. You can see again, this is kind of what we want from Nikhil. This is what we envision Nikhil being as a one-on-one -on -one guy. You put him one-on-one, -on -one, and now I also want to point out for earlier my criticism of Cam. Look at Cam. Cam's pointing his feet towards Nikhil. He's moved his body towards aiming. This is kind of like what I've said before, where this is earlier in the season. This is week two. His mechanics and the way he threw the ball was significantly better than what it is now. His mechanics were impeccably better. You got this guy over here. I believe that's Adams. I have no idea. Again. Oh, it's 28 again. Coming down below to pick up the guy swinging out right. One-on-one -on -one with Griffin. Easy. Easy play. In the clutch, obviously. I've talked about this drive a lot. He, this shows a lot of trust in Nikhil. Here we go. Another one, another great catch. Good throw, actually. A lot of people are now, you know, many people be kind of quick to judge on this one. You know, again, see how he points his feet last second. He makes that little switch to point towards him. A little, not perfect, not perfect by any means. I don't want anybody to think this is perfect. But again, he turns a little bit more. He put it down so he doesn't get hit by this guy. This is something he hasn't done a lot, Cam. he, That guy, or if he put it higher, would have wrecked Nikhil and put him down. But he put it low so Nikhil could get down. That's the opposite of what he did um, earlier in that throw to Diggs. He put him in a position to get hit. He got it low. That's good positioning of the ball by Cam, allowing him to make a good play. There we go, coming down. In the, so now here we are on the 13-yard 13, 13 line. Nine seconds left. Here's Nikhil. I believe that's Edelman. Bird on the outside. Izzo right here. Rex Burkhead in second and ten. Nine seconds left. One timeout. I believe Nikhil comes down like this. I believe. One of the, yeah. Here we go. Comes through. As you can see, it's one on one right here. This guy's coming down to pick up Burkhead. This guy's on Edelman. He's coming one on one. Cam is looking. Touchdown. That's what he's thinking, right? Obviously, a bird open up top. But with that guy there, he's not going to be able to make a play. He's coming inside. He can't go out and make a good read by Cam. Again, not a perfect throw by any means because he put it so high. If he had put it ahead and under, you know, put it under, he could have had a chance to fight, but he had to go up and he came immediately down. A good throw, not a great throw. Great snag by Nikhil, one on one. Pretty unstoppable. It's hard to, st to stop Nikhil one on one. It truly is. Um,. That's like my biggest thing that I have about Nikhil is that one-on-one, -on -one, he's phenomenal. You put a double, he's going to be locked up. I truly do believe 
that Nikhil one on one is hard to stop. Here's another video. I don't know who this is. Boston Sport it is. Oop. Again, right here. This is a different. This is with Tom last year, right? Look at this throw. This is a similar situation, not in this exact same situation, but a similar situation to what I was saying earlier about with Cam putting it really high against the Rams, which now leads to a throw as the ball is right here, going way too high. This ball should be coming underneath, right? He put it, and Nikhil got down. He put it low so Nikhil could come down. Obviously, again, not a perfect throw. Not a lot of perfect throws in the NFL. There's not really ever a lot, but a good enough throw allowed him to get down and get out of the way. That's exactly what you want. This is a whole different offense, whole different scheme, everything about this is completely different. Completely different offense, but nonetheless. Here we go. Oh, is this another screen, I believe? Here we go. Yep, they're switching it around after the play action. See how? Okay. Right there, a better move. Good, Looking good. Good play. All in general, good play. Great play by Tom right there. Great play by Nikhil. Nah, well, not a great play. I'm gonna. Here's one criticism I have of, of Nikhil on this play in particular. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you some criticism here. Um, let's see. All right. So Tom gets in trouble. Yada yada yada. Right. Goes to throw to Edelman. Or yeah, that's to Edelman. Edelman. Right. Breaks his tackle. Unreal. Don't know how he did. Nikhil shouldn't just be sitting here waiting. He should come back a little bit, make some sort of movement. Like, I would say come across here instead of just standing still with this guy right here and make a little bit of movement. Right? He he looked like he thought it was over. He'd never quit on the play. He shouldn't have quit on that play. Here we go. Against Cowboys. Rainey missed the ugly game. Here he is one-on-one -on, -one on top. That's Ben Watson on below. I don't remember this team too much. Too, too much. Yeah, that's Ben Watson, Edelman, and I think that's Michelle. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. One on one in the red zone. No safety help. Tom already knows he's going to the big guy. Phenomenal catch. We, you can't stop it. Yeah, this DB. Uh, that's Jones. Is that Tyus Jones? Something like that. It doesn't matter. In the red zone, one on one, unguardable. Unguardable. Nice soft touch. Beautiful, beautiful throw by the goat. Beautiful throw, and an amazing catch. An amazing catch by Nikhil Harry. There he goes. But this one-on-one, -on -one, it's just, it's not even about the route running. It's just, he's bigger. He's just, like right there, he's just, he's like a tight end. It's like playing with a tight end. He's just bigger. And Cam has been unable to complete that pass. And they've failed to utilize him in the red zone. All year. Here we go. Here's another one. I got a good play from Nikhil. Let's rewind it here. Go. Here we go against Kansas City. Obviously, look at the scoreboard. Big play. Here we have Edelman coming across. I believe. Oh no, here's here he is. Right, this is him. That's what number? I have no idea who that is. Cannot remember our roster. There he goes. He comes across. A little a fake switch around, right? Play action to him coming across. Boom, boom. Switch up the defense. That guy bites. 55. He goes through. Good. See how right here, right here. This is the pro like. This is my problem. I said earlier about them grabbing his toes. He went immediately down. Right here, they get 55 to bite. Uh, Matthew tries getting him. He stays up. But the other time he didn't. I don't like that. Great hustle. He did actually stay in, and that is an actual touch, oh, Philip Dorsett. But that isn't actually, actually, a that is a touchdown. It's not counted as a touchdown, but it is a touchdown. He did get in, but they counted it otherwise. Great hustle play. That's all heart. Big guy making a big play. Um, you can see right here, just fighting. Just absolutely fighting. And uh, this is the effort plays we haven't seen this year, and it's kind of why a lot of people are saying he's regressing to a bust. I personally say it's because he doesn't have a quarterback who fits him, but right there, I mean, he's just bulldozing these people. We saw this, you know, like, that's the frustrating part. It's like, this kid, this version of Nikhil, we need to see now, and he hasn't been showing it. Great hustle play. That's a, that's a touchdown. Alright, next, next up. Here we go. I believe Bengals. Uh, end around, catches it. See, fights off that guy. It's hard. He needs, that's who he needs to be. 
He needs to be that type of guy, hard to take down. I believe this was the game that they tried integrating him to the offense a lot, like getting him a lot of touches, I believe. Can't remember, don't quote me on that. I, I can't. I didn't pr plan on watching this one either, breaking this one down. I just really enjoy it. Matt Lacoste on the block. Here he comes around, one-on-one, -on -one, forced out, but good play. Good chunk of yards. Okay, which one is he? There he is. All right, one-on-one. -on -one. All right, we've seen him run this little hitch out route. We've seen him do it a bunch of times. Guy's inside, he's going to come out. Tom already knows he's going to be open. You can see he's turned, he knows. You just can't stop it. Bang. Pfft. Little hitch or a curl, I can't remember what the name of the route is. One-on-one, -on -one, hard to stop. Truly is hard to stop. Just, he really, it's hard to stop on one-on-one. -on -one. This is the thing about Nikhil, is that right here, see this guy came up, but he didn't. That great play, good play design by by Josh McDaniels. Actually, that's a really good play design. Him coming out gets this guy to bite right here. This guy comes and bites instead, and that leaves him wide open. He was gonna pick who you gonna cover, who you gonna cover, and that hesitation, that hesitation, just a little second, got him open. <laughs> Switch around. Here comes the big boy, and there he goes. A little faster. He looks a little bit faster last year. He looks quicker last year. Like he put on a lot more muscle coming into this year. Like a, he looks like he's bulking up this year to play more of the tight end role. But we didn't like. He looks like a wide receiver here, but like last this year he looks more like a tight end. He looks bigger, you know, in comparison. Oh, an ad. So I'm not gonna keep doing this. It's pretty. It's already been pretty long. But yeah, I think that Nikhil has a lot of potential. A lot of he can do a lot. It's just <sighs> playing with Cam is really difficult for him. It's been difficult. You can tell. You know, it's it. There's a lot of bad throws. Like all those throws by Tom were so good. Great placement. Then you come back here and you watch all these from. No, I don't want to do that. No. And you watch some of this. Like this first throw right here. It's so hard to watch because I again I'm a fan of Nikhil. So to watch him, from what we've just seen as a quarterback to this, where, look at that. He's getting killed. <laughs> He's getting killed. Like we see that, and it's like he gets drilled. And then, okay, we'll play this. You watch that when he gets killed, and then you come over here. <sighs> yep, the cravings. Hell yeah. Yep. And then you come in here, and you watch a similar play. Right? We watch a similar play. Here he comes. He puts it under instead. And it just, it, it's so, it's, that's the difference. And a lot of people don't seem to get, they look at it, the stats and they say, well, he's completing this amount, he's doing it. it. There's a difference in a completion and a good completion, you know. That's a good completion by Tom, bad by Cam. So is Nikhil a bust? I, I still, I can't answer that until he gets a real quarterback that fits him. But from what I'm watching here, it's hard to say. I, I doubt, I, I just don't think he is. I think he's going to have, he still has potential. He's not going to be a number one anywhere. He's not like that type of guy, but he can still be good. A good red zone threat, even in the, the uh, tight end role. But yeah, so that's just a film breakdown with Bobby. Uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoy this type of content, comment down below. Let me know. Um, yeah, thanks.